You know what's pretty bad? When you buy like a home for a million dollars, you pay that 20% down payment. So you take out a mortgage of $800,000 and then you check on Zillow and your home is worth like $700,000. Now that's a really, really crappy feeling. Like you just literally lost a huge chunk of your money and like pretty much that you're underwater, okay? And essentially your mortgage is worth more than your home. And that is a really, really bad situation to be in. Now, I get it with a 4 or 5% decrease in price. Okay, you could somewhat recover. But now you have about 11% of Americans who have bought homes or underwater on mortgages. Okay, homes bought with small down payments in the past year are most likely be worth less than the debt on them. Meaning, literally, like the mortgage debt is larger than the actual value of the home even subtracting the down payment. That's how bad it is. And that's 10% of all the homes. And this is very scary. Like we haven't seen these numbers for a very, very long time. And these numbers are truly frightening. And it's just a really bad feeling too. I mean, this is definitely a worse feeling than buying a Tesla vehicle at the peak and then having Elon Musk slashing the price by 20%. This is straight up houses worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, not just your typical Model Y. We do see this kind of situation. And like I said before, you know, some of these homes, it's just people who feel like 0% interest rates are pretty good. So they took out a fat mortgage, but now home prices are down. It's very similar to places like California, like the Bay Area. Okay. I mean, all the West Coast is doing complete trash. I mean, you have people buying like $500,000 studios and like a middle of a homeless intent, like homeless encampment. It's crazy to see that kind of stuff in like the tech city. That's how expensive the real estate prices are. And people are really paying the price right now. They're suddenly seeing like, oh, wow, my house value just went down a lot. And now the debt on the house is worth more than the house itself. Like, even if they sell the house, they can't even pay off the mortgage. Like, that's how bad it is. I mean, a lot of people have calculated that if they sell the house at the current market value in their area, combined with their down payment, like, they'll still owe the bank, like, six figures. That's pretty bad. That pretty much means that you can't really sell the house at that point. You just have to gonna tough it out and hope the market goes up or hope that you keep having a job and continue paying the mortgage. And it's not just like regular homeowners, but we're also seeing a lot of people who did huge investing, like people who own like massive properties or even one or two properties. They did a full refinance because zero percent interest rates was very tempting. And they bought like five homes and they rented those out. And now those homes aren't renting out anymore or rents are very low and they're back on the market. And some of them, like I said before, the debt is worth more than the house itself. That is bad news. Now, we're also going to be seeing the feds and the banking crisis continue on. Okay, The feds are also expecting the banking crisis to cause a mild recession. Now, I don't even know what a mild recession even means, but probably a slow uptick in unemployment, but not that much. And also slower and smaller manufacturing numbers. But overall, we have one of the Federal Reserve guys yesterday coming out saying they think inflation should be down to 3% by the end of the year. That's fantastic news. That means eggs will finally be like $2, $2 a carton. Maybe McDonald's get cheaper as well. But at the very least, inflation is going down, but core inflation is not. We're also having everyday goods being super expensive. So let's see what happens. Okay, the feds are most likely not going to hike rates one more time. But this is scary stuff here. All right, we're seeing foreclosures being extremely high. Now, it's not like every home is facing a situation. Like, I love Miami, all right? Miami real estate is still going up. This is still the hottest place in all of America. I mean, if you have a house and you're paying off a mortgage in Miami, Tampa, or any of the hot Florida cities, you're fine. These homes always have massive demand. People want to buy these homes. Pricing is pretty much affordable. And it's very sustainable as well. But what's really scary is, okay, we could be seeing a massive drop in Miami real estate as well. Because luxury home sales are down by half, and that's not great. And it's down by half in just a couple months. And if you look at the amount of sales, it's also down. But what's really crazy about Miami real estate is sales are down, but prices are climbing up. Meaning this is not sustainable. Prices keep climbing up, sales keep going down, eventually prices will collapse. And eventually, like these condos, you know, I think they're pretty well priced for a caliber condo like this, $650,000 and maybe $600,000, even $590,000. And that could be very possible. We're already seeing a few 
very interesting price cuts on a lot of really nice condos in Brickell, which is downtown Miami. And some of these condos look fantastic. Like, this is honestly a great deal. Like, riverfront, great views. This is a great location. It's not even congested. You're talking about 1,500 square feet, $765,000. Like, this is well worth the money to buy. So you do see what I'm talking about here. A lot of situations are, you know, pretty interesting in Miami. But also keep in mind that this isn't a sustainable real estate market either, considering commercial real estate properties are taking a pretty massive hit as well. Now, if you also look around, we're seeing mortgage debt increase to 11.2 trillion in 2022. This is extremely high mortgage debt. I mean, people have borrowed so much money from the bank to buy homes that are literally skipping meals. I think there's like a statistic I talked about a couple of days ago, like 39% of Americans are skipping meals to pay their mortgages. Now, I don't want people to be skipping food to pay the banks on their houses. That's really bad. And that's making me guess that they're probably having 60% of their wage going to just mortgages, which really explains why people who make $100,000 or above, half of them are living paycheck to paycheck because a large chunk of that is in mortgages. Now, this is a very, very high mortgage debt. Considering the fact that one-tenth of all the houses where the debt is worth more than a home itself, I mean, talk about buying at the top, at the bubble. And that, that's what happens. I mean, just fear of missing out. So just be very careful, guys. Like I said before, not every single location in the States is dropping like a rock. Now, I love to talk crap with the West Coast, but it's not just the West Coast dropping down. We're seeing some Florida neighborhoods having some price cuts. Also seeing a lot of different places in Texas having major price cuts. Even Manhattan, New York City, you know, some skyscraper buildings are having price cuts. Not to mention the massive commercial real estate bubble that's looming over us. That's also very scary. But nevertheless, though, if you guys have the money, if you guys know that mortgages only take up 40% of your wages and you have like a 35, 40% down payment, so you're taking out less of a mortgage and you find a great deal, definitely buy, buy, buy. But if you're really scraping by, you're like, oh, 50, 60% of my wages go into the mortgage. I'm only doing like a 15, 20% down payment. Don't buy a house. You don't want to be another number in the foreclosure number. You don't want to be that. It will absolutely decimate your portfolio. And be very careful when you're buying homes in places where prices have plummeted because they may plummet even more in 2023. And be very wary of the tech hubs like Seattle, San Francisco, even LA, for example. They're not doing that well at all. They're doing pretty bad. And who knows, prices may continue to go down. Be careful, guys, and stay safe. You gotta admit, some of these condos do look fantastic. And before we leave, definitely check out the private Discord server, guys. Patreon link below for some awesome trades. One of our traders here is making a lot of money. So trade with us, guys. Make some money with us. I mean, he's traded live every single day. And last month, this dude made almost a thousand percent. 38 trades, almost 80% win rates. It's $10 a month. So ditch that Spotify subscription and get this instead. Patreon link below, super simple. Sign up, connect Patreon and Discord, and join the family.